Dr. Sudarshan Balal, uh, Chairman, Medical Advisory Board and Medical Director, Manipal Health Systems, uh, clinician and teacher par excellence, uh, compassionate physician. Dr. Balal has done immense work uh, in creating awareness on kidney disease and its prevention at an early stage. He has the credit of setting up the first training center for postgraduates in nephrology in the state of Karnataka, and he's a recipient of many awards and honors for his yeoman's service and contribution to the field of medicine. Dr. Bilal is also the adjunct professor of medicine at the Manipal University, and I request uh, Dr. Bilal to say a few words. Chief guest of the day, Dr. Aluwalia, Raj and Padmavet Kuti, other distinguished guests of the dais, of the dais, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor to be here, and I would like to thank uh, Raj Padma and uh, Dr. Bandari for not only organizing this conference, but also inviting me as part of the Manipal group to be here. I am a hardcore physician. I have never touched a knife except to cut an apple. So how is it that a physician like me is interested in robotic surgery? And we first started this journey at Manipal a few months ago when uh, Raj and his team, including Dr. Pandari, came and gave us a demonstration of what the robot could do. And it was a toy, a great toy for a physician like me. And probably I had more belief than our surgeons and uh, was able to push through to get this expensive toy for the surgeons. And now obviously they love it a lot more than I do. And had I known this robot would have been available in the early 2000s, 30 years ago, I probably decided to be a surgeon rather than a physician. It's a little too late unless the money takes me under his arms and uh, sort of trains me to be a urologist and not a nephrologist. Be as it may, I think what's interesting is we heard uh, Dr. Trehan and Dr. Moneyman speak. Obviously, we have one surge, group of surgeons above the belt, the other group of surgeons below the belt, both professing that robotic surgery is excellent. And I'm glad that now surgeons around the belt are also using it. So we have surgeries that are above the diaphragm, in the abdomen, in the pelvis, all across being done by robotic surgery. And that's the beauty of this great instrument. And obviously, we need someone to drive the instrument. And that's uh, where India excels. We have a great team of very, very competent surgeons. We have found that in the last few months that we have had a uh, robot at Manipal Hospital, we have done over 60 surgeries in the fields of urology, gynecology, surgical oncology and uh, many other fields like pediatric surgery and we hope that we'll go well above the diaphragm in the near future. Once again, a big thank you to Raj, Padma and uh, Dr. Mahendra Bandari for popularizing robotic surgery in India. Thank you and God bless.